I think of all the VODs I reviewed, this has got to be my favorite one. And I, I reviewed a lot of Zarya VODs, and there have been some really good, really, really good games. But there's a reason Catacris is a consistent Zarya one trick in the top 100 every season. It's because he's a god, okay? So thank you again, Catacris, for allowing me to review this video. It's amazing. All right, let's get back into it. So uh, let's go back to this, these initial shields. This is just free energy right at the start. We can use both these shields, have both cooldowns back before we even turn the corner. 70 energy before we even turn the corner, guys. Really, really good shield use. And again, right before anything's happened, we already have both shields back. The so Metro is just feeding us so hard. The reason that we had to shield Reinhardt there is because he took he's taking Roadhog spam and Junkrat spam so that shield will it, like okay the, the reason I say this is because there are plenty of other games where the the Zarya's team is attacking and they shield specifically for energy and I'll call that out be like oh that was shield was just for energy but what this shield is is it, it gives us energy obviously we, we see that but it's it's making our helping our Ryan exit the fight. So if you want, if you're a Zarya player and you're watching this and you want to shield Reinhardt for energy, make sure it's not just for energy, right? That shield. I'll go back one more time. This shield is doing three things. Like I said, helping him exit the fight. Number two, giving us energy, and number three, protecting our Reinhardt because he is forced to drop shield here, right? If the if the red Roadhog. Re the enemy team's Roadhog sees all these cracks, right? The moment this shield's break, the, the moment this shield breaks, he's gonna hook, which is just that's kind of an obvious, you know, logic loop. But the preemptive shield onto him helps him get out. So don't be a Zarya player that just shields for energy. Oh, the Reinhardt shield's taking damage, and you shield when Reinhardt's shield is at like a thousand HP, right? Save that shield for like when the Reinhardt shield's at like two hundred HP. So Catacris says in chat, if we are ever engaging, I basically have to have both bubbles off cooldown because of the spam. So if I use personal bubble, I usually use ally bubble as well since I have to wait anyway. Okay, so that's actually a really good insight. So he is pairing the cooldowns of personal and projected barrier. So he uses personal shield first because I believe it's a longer cooldown. It's 10 seconds and projected barrier is 8 seconds. So if we go back, we'll see this uh, perfect rotation on the second use of the two shields. He wants both shields, Katakris said, he wants both shields to be up simultaneously for an engagement. So every time he uses one, he uses the other to make to keep the cooldowns like near each other, right? If you use one and then kind of use the other, you'll kind of go into an engagement lopsided in terms of barrier use. So I'm going to be honest here. I have never personally playing Zarya thought to keep my cooldowns like paired up. I would just use them you know based on the situation but catacris is saying because of the spam he can a keep both sh shield cooldowns together and b doing so can like like pushing into spam you can't cover a, a, sh a long distance and a long amount of time you have to cover a, a long distance and a short amount of time that's why you need both shields to just make a sprint you just use both shields and sprint into the other team which is why he's keeping the two cooldowns together and that is something I personally have never ever thought about. And that's so. So by the way, what I was pointing out is he uses the personal shield first because it's 10 seconds, and then the projected barrier because it's eight seconds. So you see right here, they are both at eight seconds because of how he spaced them apart. Damn, that is some high level thinking. I never ever thought of that. So there's one shield. I expect the other shield to come out. Like like you're saying, perfect. Look. They're, look guys, 7 and 8 seconds. They are t like tied so closely together. Jesus. My mind is blown right now. Alright, how do you push into this? There's one shield. The other shield's gonna happen? Nope, he's holding it because his, his other shield is about halfway back. Ooh, that sucked. So like I was saying before, right when the shield breaks, you're gonna see the Roadhog hook. And even before that, I was saying you can only shield so much as Zarya, right? We p use this shield, his shield breaks, but the Roadhog right-clicks the barrier, 
breaks it, breaks the Reinhardt shield, and then hooks him. So we we have like the two frontliners have to find a way in. I would think Diva. Oh, there, Diva's switch actually just came out. He's spamming the choke, by the way, just to get a um, grab charge, ult charge. How are we gonna break into this? I th we need Diva to eat. So what is it? Junkrat has a five grenade magazine. So if Diva eats like four, then we can march in. Ooh, that was a really good sleep, but we can't charge it or we'll get earth shattered. God, this and the so much spam, so much energy. Okay, so let's rewind a bit because I was thinking that right when we, right when we got the graviton, look like this. Uh, is it a Hanzo arrow? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a Hanzo arrow. The enemy team doesn't have a diva, right? That means we can literally graviton whenever we want. So the team's communicating. Let's go. We use the projected barrier to get our Reinhardt in here and grav. Now we use personal shield and rotate around this to try and kill someone, anyone. Immediately goes for the healer, which is which is really good, but amazing sleep dart comes out from the Ana. Oh, the Ana's gonna forget about you. Oh, oh my god, those are really good shields. Damn. The personal shield to cleanse ourselves and block the Roadhog hook was really good. All right, so the so the the blue team's talking about how they had grab Hanzo combo, and uh, like if we had waited, he said he was at fifty percent. If we had waited just a little bit, they don't have any defensive ultimates, right? You know, the two healers are Anna and Symmetra. They're banking on teleporter so much. If we had, if ID had, you know, either got dragged sooner or maybe we'd waited with the the graviton, we could have used the combo wiped. I think we caught three people in it, three or four. We could have wiped those four people and then moved in and fa and Diva could have found the teleporter. That probably would have been um, ideal. But the enemy team did use a bunch of alts, so we'll see how this uh, how this turns out. Where did you get the first batch of energy? Oh, the junk rat's just spamming into spawn. That's where you got it all. Don't take a ton of damage here. You can <clears throat> Ooh, I like the Farah switch. They don't have any uh, hit scan. Now you just need the Farah to do some work. Kill the junk, kill the junk. Oh. Look, see, look guys, like I just said, D.Va found the teleporter, which is really important. Manga Chu got away with that positioning for so long, I'm surprised it took that long for the team to kill him. Yeah, that was, a, that was, that was really good. Personal shield. Oh, how did he get knocked down? We used projected barrier. What? Wow, the barrier instantly popped because Roadhog is shooting whole. Nano boosted Roadhog is shooting whole hog into that. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Resurrect from Tehang? Oh, he popped her shield. Don't do it, don't do it. Damn it. Where was our projected barrier there? Oh, Mercy stepped on a trap which forced the barrier and then she got hooked. Damn. That random junk rat trap, that was unfortunate. Okay, the Mangachu is trying to stagger more with the tire. 
Uh oh. I could. Ooh. Okay, let's uh let's look at these barriers a bit. The first one there was in case a tire blew up. The second one though. This one I'm not sure of. Maybe we were expecting Symmetra turrets and that's why we barriered. I think that I think that's what it was. His Roadhog is off to the side right, oops, excuse me, right here. So a, a hook could have come through, but it's a pretty tight angle. I think we were expecting some Metro turrets. And let's if we look at this uh, positioning, guys. Our our front line, the blue team's front line's together, right? We see Zarya and Reinhardt both together. But the red team is split up. Here's their squishies. Here's their Reinhardt. This is a big mistake. And you see... Catachrist punished this instantly. He sees them, goes towards the people without a shield, and uses Graviton instantly, and I think it's an instant three kills. He also reloads before Graviton, which is really important. It's it's pretty lucky. I, th I think they're actually kind of far away, but they still get sucked into this. That's actually really lucky. Or not lucky, but fortunate. I don't know. That, that was like a max range grab. Yeah, an instant two kills. Good focus on the tanks there. Was that a barrier on, on the Pharaoh? So fast. Oh, it was a barrier on D.Va. Use the personal shield once the hog once the hog acquired us, guys. That's like that's important to note. You use the shield when they start looking at you, not before. So what I mean is, right here, some people, some players, would use the shield now because they're fighting Hog. Like, even though you're fighting Hog, Hog is not fighting you, right? That's the difference. So once the Hog fights you, right, he, right when he turns, you see the shield come out. Th those, like, that, those micro decisions, those milliseconds of awareness of he is or isn't looking at me, can make or break whether you win a 1v1 or not. Yeah, so Catacris is saying in chat he thought the D.Va was Pharah. That's what I thought too. I was like, I thought that was Pharah, but you see the Pharah is right here. So, that's okay. It seems to work out. That was a... Man, that spam comp was just... That was hold so yeah. The, the diva and the, the Farah and the diva switch were really important there. I think the main thing about that first push is um, we want like we picked Hanzo Zarya into their comp when they didn't have a defensive alt. If we had gotten those two to work together, it probably wouldn't have been a much easier first point. But a lesson learned, you know. Just something to think about, right? If you guys have the Hanzo and the Zarya and the enemy team has no Tranquility, has no um, Resurrect, has no Sound Barrier, just play around that, win a Wombo combo fight, and take the point. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're so dead. Oh, no. So he's pushing up to make space, trying to take the high ground from them before they get to it, but they are they were already there. <laughs> Oh jeez, the sleep into the charge. This is that should be a crime. My goodness, fifty-six percent average energy from all that spam damage, guys. He jumped up what? What was it? Like ten percent in the terms of half a round? That's insane. That punish was hilarious. Ooh, such a good barrier. So another thing about um playing Zarya, right? Lots of people will respawn as Zarya, come back to a fight, and barrier just the first person they see. Don't do that. Assess the situation, then barrier, which is exactly what we're seeing here. He's coming back, he sees multiple people getting hurt, he's like, uh, you get the barrier. Like, there's a couple people he could have shielded, you know, Dehang is like 10 HP, but you can only shield so much, as like I said, so amazing shield onto Soldier there. The Catacris died, and then they instantly moved up and punished, right? So, you're seeing the, the, what's the word I want to say? Um, 
the reverberation. No, that's not the right word. You're seeing the continuous effects of Catacris getting overextending and getting picked off, right? He died. The enemy team knows, okay, there's no Zarya. We can play aggressive. They move up. They kill D.Va. They kill Reinhardt. They're playing super aggressive because one of the three frontliners died. Rez comes out. All right, so the reason we he to hang Rez is because he's he's just said, and I don't know if you guys heard it, he's not going to be on Mercy too much longer. Ooh, good job on dodging that hook. Someone slept. He's going to look over. Yes. Oh. Because I heard him get slept, and I was like, wait a second. The Reinhardt confirms he slept. And again, just the the ninety degree flick, so good, such a good barrier. That's what we. That's what personally as Zarya that I love about playing her. When like they need to make like a Russian gang mobster Zarya. Whenever you shield someone and save their life, you should be like, you're in my debt or something. That's what I want out of. That's what I want for Zarya out of this game. Because whenever I save someone's life or make an amazing graviton or shield them while they're alt i want them to owe me but like we just won that game because of my amazing zarya play you all owe me something i want i want there to be a zarya theme skin around that concept but maybe it probably will never happen so that was such a good bubble bubble discipline guys make sure every bubble has a purpose in my opinion beyond just getting energy did he say, what, how am I alive? That's what someone in chat saying. What? How am I Ha! <laughs> Marcel even says, someone in chat mentioned it. Mar the Reinhardt says, how the hell am I even alive? That's the beauty of playing Zarya. Because the enemy team's also thinking that. They're like, how did he not die? It's because Zarya was there. It's not even, no, it's not because Zarya was there. It's because a good Zarya was there. My god. Like, sorry, there's just so many barriers. I'm trying really hard to look at all the barriers, guys. Forgive me for rewinding like a bunch of times right there. Okay, so the first barrier, we're getting shot by Soldier. The first barrier comes out. The Reinhardt is shooting, is fighting the other Reinhardt. The second barrier comes out. The fight's pretty much won, like I said. You you kill the front line, you get access to the back line. Oh, that max range grab again! If you're Zenyatta and Soldier, you're like, what? I was so far away, but... Oh, that was solid. That was such a good grab. Like I said, guys, how do you win fights Zarya with Graviton? Kill the front line, you have access to the back line. That, that fight we just saw was exactly that. We killed Reinhardt, Graviton the back line, kill everybody. If I recall correctly, Piggage, I don't think Catacris streams because I've tried to find him myself in the past. I don't think he does. We had to barrier ourselves there because Soldier was ripping through our health. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. XQC getting aggressive. Must How did they all get up there? They must have came through spawn. Yeah, he had to barrier there because he was at less than 200 HP. I'm trying to look at the shield on the Rhine. One second. I wonder if this one here is still in the same kind of realm as keeping the two cooldowns together. Because we have Defense Matrix and our own Reinhardt shield. So I'm not sure of... like This is, again, one of the rare shields. I'm not sure what, what goal it was serving. Maybe uh, Canacris can allu uh, illuminate the purpose of it, but... Definitely between Reinhardt Shield and Defense Matrix, we might have been able to hold that. But again, even like hindsight, even if we had held that, what could we have done with it, right? We just, we die instantly to XQC. He says, I think this is part of the I'm about to die, might as well use it shield. All right, that's a good reason. <laughs> Makes Ryan's hitbox bigger so it can I can hide behind it. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I've definitely done that in the past. That's a good, that's a good point. I, so I was thinking of the defense matrix too, but like I said, hindsight, well, hindsight for me, because I see Catacris die, but Catacris is saying as the player, he sees, he knows I'm about to die, so he uses his cooldown anyway. Ooh. Ooh, that was a good res into barrier. Okay, look at this. So both frontliners were dead, 
and we see Reinhardt has Shatter, the instant shield onto him so he can Shatter. Plus the follow-up Sound Barrier. This is just amazing alt management by the blue team. Rez, Sound Barrier. Reinhardt gets obliterated right there. I think he got to half. The shield comes out. The barrier. He'll XQC. <laughs> Poor XQC, dude. He's just sitting there like, I hate Mercy. 100% he just sits there and said, I hate Mercy. <laughs> He's like fun gameplay, fun high level gameplay. Kappa, he hate. I think if I, re he really does not like Mercy players. I'm pretty sure that's a tip I have never mentioned in a video is use another like even though I've done it myself, the tip of you can treat a projected barrier and hide behind it like it was your own to save your life. Maybe I have mentioned it once, but if not, I definitely should. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the right hand side. And if you want to see more videos, check out these two on the left. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.